Hi everyone, I'm Deborah Kozlovic and I'm a Creative Memories Independent Advisor from Australia. Welcome to Creating Your Memories. Today I wanted to pop on today and show you the new collection that Creative Memories have brought out, What a Zoo 2. With this collection, you get two paper packs, which is your designer paper pack. And there's also a coordinated cut uh, paper pack that is Fab 2 designer paper. So there you've got your, um, your Fab 2 pages and that's design that's already got borders and whatnot and you just add your photos and stickers or embellishment. There's your page completed. Also, they have brought out a Total Tonal Zoo paper pack also. And coordinating with these paper packs, you have also have your stickers, your variety mats, and your embellishments. So with the What A Zoo 2, you have your designer stickers. So you've got three sheets of gorgeous animal sticker prints there. Border stickers. Again, three sheets of the border stickers. And you also have What A Zoo 2 letter stickers. And then with the total on tone, they've also brought out the border stickers for that as well. And then we have your layered embellishments. And then you have the variety mat. So in the variety mat, you have your titles. You can use them for your titles on your page. There's some journaling boxes in there also, four by six. And then you have your bigger variety mats which are mainly journaling boxes. And you could also use these to place a photo on. So this, this size here is a four and a half by a six and a half. So if you've got a photo, your standard four by six photo, just find a photo here. And you can actually place that photo on your four and a half by six and a half variety mat. And then you can just use that as a backing. So that's our variety max. So with this collection, What a Zoo 2, it's great for school excursions to the zoo, safari excursion, wild, wildness walks, jungle themes, birthday party. And also that came out with this collection, we have the bamboo decorative border punch and also the zebra stripe water cartridge. So today I wanted to show you a design using the zebra border cartridge. So to start off with that, I want you to grab your jumbo circle, your green and your red blade. I'm actually using a black cardstock for my layout and just your housing of your border maker system so we don't need the the tray or anything so we just need the housing and slotting your cartridge into there so what this layout looks like today is this circle here and then we're going to put that whole lot into a page layout so to start off with using our 13 by 13 inch mat I'm just going to line up that cardstock on there making sure it's even then lining up our jumbo circle and then with the green blade we're going to go on the outside track and going around and then with the red blade we're going to go on the inside track just holding it in place just making sure that you've got that cut right around just put those blades aside and our jumbo circle so we're just going to lift that top one off keep this because we will actually use that for our layout 
you can also use your round middle part, the insert, on a, another layout that you might do. So to start off with, it doesn't matter if you move this because we're not going to do any markings on our ring today. So I'm just going to get the border cartridge and I'm just going to flip it over and what we're going to do is we're just going to slot that in and then punch and then as we're going around you can actually see that's the end there and we're just going to line it up just past that and then punch again. So we're going to continue to do that onto the next one, not moving it too far as a gap in between. You do get a little bit of a wider gap down the bottom, but when you complete this, it all blends in together. So all we're going to do now is completely punch around this whole circle. And again, so as I said, as you're going around, so we've just punched that one there. And when we're lining it up, we're just moving it. So there's that little gap just about there. So I'm just going to go past that just a tiny bit. And then we're going to punch. So we're just going to do that same technique around this whole jumbo circle. Oops. So then we've got one more. So we're going to line that up in the middle. So there we have that. With these little pieces, the punch outs, all this little confetti, you can actually reuse these. So you can actually just put them aside for future projects. So there we have our ring. We're using the zebra stripe border cartridge, which is this one here. It came out with What a Zoo 2. So the next thing after we finish this, so I got my white cardstock, and then I've brought back in the original leftover cardstock that we used after we cut out our black ring. So what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to use my repositional tape. I'm going to stick that down on the white cardstock. Making sure that the circle edges also get stuck down. So then we've got that down. Then we're going to bring in our punch circle with the zebra stripe. I'm just going to put a tiny amount of repositional around that. And then we're going to put that in the middle. It should fit in there nicely because this is the original edging that we actually cut this circle from this black card style. See how it gives that nice technique of the zebra stripes on that. So now I'm just going to put that aside. So now that I'm going to use the bamboo decorative border punch and I'm also going to use the the parakeet shimmer. It's the green shimmer that we have in our cardstock range. So now I'm just going to line it up on our black edges and just punch a border. So I'm just going to put that in. Might be a little bit noisy and then we're just going to punch away. You probably need, you could use two or three of these bamboo strips. And then last one. So 
so there we have the bamboo border. I'm just going to move this confetti out of the way. Bamboo borders, I've already punched two previously before. So we're just going to bring in that layout again. So just working which way you want to have your layout sitting. And on this layout, I might bring out some stickers. A border sticker, or maybe two border stickers on this layout. So I'm also going to use the bamboo as well. So just, so I might go, I might use two different ones. Because we've got so much black and white, I won't go with the black one now. So I might do the arrows and this one. I might do the arrows and the sun. So just going to make sure that my page layout is lined up on my board properly so when we cut when we punched out our circle if you feel that you've got a little boo-boo or something that's not cut properly or you're not happy with put it on the side that you're going to cover it up with your um your stickers or your borders or if you've got photos you can actually cover it up with a photo or not so no one's going to know that you've made a little mistake there so laying my stickers out I'm going to put them probably one and a half inches from the bottom so I'm just going to layer that one there so now I'm going to get the arrow border sticker and we're going to just put it down below those suns just peeling that off so we're just putting it below that just sitting on, on top of it then using these bamboo borders that I punched out previously and I'm just going to have them sitting on the side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the micro tip scissors and then I'm just going to cut this off just there so I don't actually want it to go to the whole length of my page so I want to just have them at different lengths so I'm just going to put a little bit of repositional tape on this and stick that down. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put them on randomly. Just have that nice little decorative design on the side of my page. So I'm going to bring in another one using my scissors and then I'm going to trim off a little bit smaller probably down to this one about there also using my repositional just a small amount might put slot that under there a little bit So just moving it around and just working out how you would like to have it sitting on your design layout. So I think I might just go this smaller one and then just trimming a bit off down the bottom. Again, using a bit of repositional. I 
And for this one, I'm just going to lift it up about here. And I'm putting it about there. So now that I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do, I've already cut down my photos previously. So four inches by three and three fourths. Both of them are the same. So now I'm going to use the designer paper with uh, Wadazoo 2. So I'm going to use this yellowy orangey one and the backing is the zebra stripes so i'm going to make photo mats so i'm going to bring in my trimmer so because my photos are three three and three quarters by four so i'm going to make that at four inches And then I'm going to turn that and then trim them at four and a quarter. So we want two of those because they're the same size. So I'm just going to get my tape runner. I'm just going to those photos down on the photo mat just lining it up making sure you got the same even width on either side so just lining that up again So my photos that I'm using today are when we went to the Australia Zoo here up on the Sunshine Coast and I visit the zoo and I got to feed the giraffe and also in the giraffe closure were the zebras. So to position my photos, I've got one here and one there. So then we've got this. So now I'm going to do a title on my page. So I'm going to use the embellishments and the stickers. So in the embellishments, I thought I used the, the wild and laid embellishment. See now that it all fit. So I might. So I haven't stuck my photos down yet. So I just want to position to see how wide and how big this will and whereabouts it would fit. So I think maybe I might center that top one in the middle, and then this one off on the side. So this one would be probably just over one inch from the top. And then I have this one on the side here and it's two and a half inches from the bottom and probably about three quarters of an inch in from the side. So then I'm gonna use this wild laid embellishment here and overlapping on my photo. The zebra and I'm going to Stick the zebra right about here. So I'm going to put my photo down just so it doesn't move. So it's around about two, lining it up. And then sticking this one down. We don't need to use foam squares on this laid embellishment. 
we've actually already got foam squares in between so we don't need to double boost it it might be too thick for our Elwyn so I'm just going to put just below the zebra feet so we're going to place this one at the top so putting that on either side so we've got our middle six inch here so just sitting in the middle about one maybe it's just over one inch from the top I think this one is a little bit crooked so we'll fix that up A journaling box so we get out my variety mats and using the bigger ones there's actually this zebra print one so that could actually go nicely there but then I don't want to cover up too much of that technique that we did with the, the border punch so I might leave that might do a little another cluster of stickers so we're going to use the heart to might layer the hearts on here I'll use the green first so we've got the green, oops, just wants to come off there, and then the white, so just turn that up. So now I'll get some foam squares, put some foam squares on the back of this. Then I'm just going to do a cluster of the leaves. Might do this over here, just up the top here. And then put my hearts on top. So I think that might do. So with your journaling, you can actually go around the uh, circle or you can put a little bit here or you could always move your photo over a little bit more and then you could have that side there for a little bit of journaling. Depending on how much you want to do of journaling, you might not be a journal person so you might not want to do much journaling at all. Is my completed layer using the zebra stripe border cartridge i love you to try this technique that i've shown you today with the jumbo circle it's very simple very easy to do uh, the layout is using the four by three and a quarter photos with your photo mats and using the lay embellishment and the stickers and the bamboo decorative border punch so if you would like to know any more about creative memories you can contact me i'll leave the details below in the description uh, i would love to see your take on the layout or try and have a go at this technique i would love to see that if you'd like to shop with me if you're into in australia that link will also down be down below happy scrapping everybody and i'll see you all soon Bye.